Let's get this table finished then. What we'll do here is mostly just duplication. There's not much new here apart from learning how to mirror things uh, using the scale, essentially. So we'll start with this piece here, table leg. This doesn't need to be mirrored. It's the same on the front and back. So we can just duplicate that as we would anything else with Control and D and drop it into place. So to try and get this fairly symmetrical, I'm just going to use my orthographic view. That looks about right. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's an old fashioned table. They, there would have been imperfections, wouldn't they? So now what we need to do is duplicate the detail piece. So I'm going to duplicate this like so and move it over here. And then you can see the scale on X is what I'm going to change because the detailing is only on this side. It's not on the back side. So what I'll do is scale X, which is here. It's currently set to 0 0.306, but if I change it to minus 3.06, it will not do what I expect, and that's because I should have chosen a different axis. So let's try scale Z. Nope. Let's try scale Y. So we'll do minus on scale Y. That's got it. So that has now inverted it. Uh, the reason it didn't work is because I was trying to figure it out in world space, which is this, but in object space, that was originally the y-axis that was pointing up when we started, so I just confused myself. Anyway, let's now pop this detail piece into place, like so. And now we have detailing on both sides of our table. Wonderful. Two legs as well. So just to finish, I'm going to do one final thing, because the table looks a little bit odd to me at the moment. I'm going to add like a cross piece here to sort of hold it together. So that's just going to be a cube. Luckily, this is mostly centered for me. So what I'll do is bring the cube into the center piece here. I'm going to make it thinner. Then I'll drop it down. And then I'm going to make it longer. Like so. And then scale it down a little bit. And I think that looks grand maybe a touch thinner on this axis. That looks pretty nice. Let's rename this. Cross piece is what I'll call it. And just because I don't like it looking so harsh, I'm going to go into edge mode and I'm going to use a marquee selection to get the four long edges. It's not getting the edges that are now buried inside the table legs. We're going to bevel that, so Control and B will do that. And I'm probably going to put a couple of sections in this just to round it off a little bit. And I will leave the fraction as it is because I think that looks quite nice. So back into object mode. That'll do it. Okay then, that is our table complete. In the next step, we're going to put it into a group. So I'll tell you what groups are, why they're used, and then we'll put it into a group which will make it easier to position it into our room as a whole. So I'll see you in the next step where we'll make a group. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.